Trigonometric ratio, quadrants and angles. Question 9. Solve each equation for theta is greater than or equal to 0 degrees and less than or equal to 360 degrees. So you can copy this question and try to solve it yourself. So these are reciprocal of our primary trigonometric ratios. Cosecant theta equals to 2 over square root 3 is reciprocal of sine theta, right? And secant theta equals to minus square root 2 is reciprocal of cos theta. Now to solve this, it's better to write it in the terms of sine theta and cosine theta and then use these seems to be a special triangle, right? So we can write like this, cosecant theta equals to 2 over square root 3, that means sine theta equals to square root 3 over 2. Now, if sine theta is positive, that means we have two possible solutions, right? One is in quadrant 1 and the other one is in quadrant 2. How do we get that? We get it from the cost rule, correct? So the cost rule is that all are positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2 sine is positive. So we have two possible solutions in the domain of 0 to 360 degrees, right? Now, we can also consider our special triangles, correct? Since we have square root 3 over 2, 30, 60, 90 is a good triangle and that is this one, correct? As you know, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that is opposite to this angle and that angle is pi by 3 for us, correct? And therefore, the acute angle or the angle in this quadrant is pi by 3, correct? So here we have one solution, pi by 3. Now since sine is also positive in quadrant 2, we also have here this solution. So these are these two solutions. And we should write all our solution as principal angles. So this is one angle and the other one is this, correct? And that is pi by 3 for us. And this one is 2 pi by 3, right? And therefore, we can write that theta is equals to pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3. So we have two solutions for this equation, correct? So that's how we can do it. Now let's try to do the other one. Secant theta. It's not necessary to write it in cost terms, right? You know Sokotova and you can use secant as reciprocal of cosine. Well, Secant theta is negative, that means what? That means as per the cost rule, which is cos is positive here and here, that means secant theta is negative, that means you are in these two quadrants, correct? In both the quadrants, secant theta is going to be negative. Let's try to figure out what is the related acute angle. Now for square root of 2, our special triangle is 45 degrees, right? So here we have 1, 1 and square root of 2. So pi by 4, secant theta will be square root 2 over 1. Therefore, our related acute angle, let me say alpha, is equal to pi by 4. And the two solutions which we are looking for are actually in quadrant 2 and 3 with acute angle of pi by 4. So the solutions are, one is this and the other one is this, correct? And these are pi, this one is pi plus pi by 4 and this one is pi minus pi by 4, correct? So these are the two solutions. So one is, so theta equals to pi minus pi by 4 and pi plus pi by 4, correct? So these are the two solutions as you can see from here, correct? So that is 4 minus 1 is 3 pi by 4 or so pi is 4 pi by 4 and this is fifth one or 5 pi by 4. So these are the two solutions for secant theta equals to minus square root of 2, correct? As a practice, you can try doing this. Try this. Let's write cosecant theta equals to square root of 2 
and secant theta equals to let us say 2 over square root 3, correct? Try these yourself, okay? Thank you.